Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, it's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And I've made many videos in the past talking about the top Summers War accounts in the global server, Europe server, have not yet done Asia, but I'm going to be doing that very soon. And I figure it's about time to review Scat Fetus. Now he just finished legendary rank last night. Okay, he is the current legendary player in the global server right now now okay now that's not his first time that he's ever finished a legend he has finished legend now 28 times to be exact which is more times than anybody else on the global server probably anybody else in the entire game i don't know about europe or asia but you guys will probably let me know but on global server he's definitely the most winning legendary player on the global server period done so even with guys like tiger even with guys like corrosive on the server as well which i've also made videos for their accounts as well in the past he still manages to beat them now he doesn't have like the best account he doesn't have the best runes he doesn't have the best monsters mainly talking about like tian lang or anything like that but he still manages to find a way to get rank one now the thing I like about Scafidus is he doesn't hide. He is a top ranked RTA player. He's a top ranked arena player. He's a top ranked world arena player, top ranked guild war player. Everything, every aspect in the game, he's a top ranked player at, and he always is at the top of the ranks. He doesn't hide. He doesn't say, oh, I just want to focus on RTA. I just want to focus on world arena. I just want to focus on arena and you know not want my runes to be shown he is always in the top ranks no matter what time of the day it is you guys will be able to log in to the global server click on rankings and see his name somewhere in the top 100 if not in the first 30 names that you see on the list at any time anytime i guarantee you guys okay so without further ado i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pull up his name by the arena ranking so i'm just going to click on his name yes i want to visit all right by the way, he's also in my guild as well. A player that I have to give credit to for being a mentor of mine, pretty much as I was, you know, building up from Conqueror 3 to Guardian 1 to Guardian 2 to Guardian 3 to my, you know, top finish as rank 3 in the game. I finished rank 3 when he got his 27th legend and it was it was crazy. So I Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that some other time, but let's go over his runes and take a look at why Scat Fetus might be the number one ranked player in the game as of right now. So first off, though, we always got to take a look at the island. So he says Scat XXX, and he's, what's this little guy? <laughs> okay, so if you guys haven't seen his streams, he... He's a pretty he's a pretty out there guy and he doesn't really give two shits about anything. He just wants to stream, have fun, you know, teach people about the game and be competitive. And so he puts things like this on his uh on his island. And I think it's just hilarious. Uh if you don't get his humor, you might not think he's hilarious, you might just think he's an asshole, but I mean, to each his own. That's all I'm going to say about that. But, all right, so overall, not like a super great decorated island. I, I would give it a 8 out of 10, though. 8 out of 10. Doing really well. Doing really well. Mother of Dragons, shout out to Game of Thrones. All right, let's get into the runes, though. That's what everybody's here for, right? So first off, we have Camilla. And already on like a super tanky, super damage build, super fast, super crit rate. Oh, my God. So... Pretty much everything all together, right? So he has the uh, violent nemesis build, attack, crit damage, HP. But the stats on it, guys, this is this is what you want a Camilla to look like. That's that's <laughs> this is a really good Camilla. I'm not gonna lie, 83 speed with almost 38,000 HP, almost 39,000 HP with still a really good amount of attack and then crit rate and crit damage it's got everything you really need hands down everything you need moving on to the konamiya though plus 147 speed on swift will he doesn't really need to be all that fast as long as you tune him with your fastest buff gauger to then promote your uh lucian your slow lucian right your fat lucian so obviously speed hp defense 
doesn't need to be anything crazy. Again, 147, tanky enough to withstand a lot of hits though, and uh, continue reviving, not reviving, but healing, cleansing, uh, resurging, and all that good stuff that Konamiya does. Galleon though, plus 110 speed, built more on a accuracy crit damage build. I would assume that it's speed, crit damage, accuracy, just based on the stats. Violent will, speed, crit damage, accuracy, just like I said. Galleon doesn't really need to be that good anyway. As long as he's faster than your other monsters, that's all that really matters. Chilling. I don't think he really uses chilling a whole lot. Maybe a little bit in RTA and that's about it. But speed, crit damage, HP with revenge runes. Revenge runes on chilling make him kind of just a real dumbass to deal with. I'm not going to lie. I fought a lot of chillings in RTA and it just, it, it sucks. It really does suck. So Wusa is somebody that he actually uses a lot. He is at 300 speed total, almost the same, like 38,000 HP, same thing as like Camilo had. Uh, his runes are swift will though. The fact that he's 300 speed with will runes is really good. Speed, HP, HP. And yeah, on, on will though, that's the key is on will. For Wusa, that, that's a really good, strong build. Really tanky, lots of defense, lots of HP, lots of speed. Really can't ask for more. Uh, on his Jalin, that's mainly used for raids and his R5 team on Vampire. Again, if you guys haven't watched my R5 video on why not to use Violent Runes on your R5 monsters unless they're a cleanser, I definitely recommend checking out that out at the end of this video. But that's the Jalen, pretty standard build, lots of HP, attack, decent defense, and on uh, Vampire, that way you can put it in the front line, so that way it can revenge on its third skill passive. As far as Alicia goes, really nice crit rate, decent crit damage, nice speed, and nice attack on Will with uh, Fatal. Speed, crit damage, attack, obviously. You can probably go attack on slot two as well if you get the subsets for it, but he's on speed slot two, so that way he can speed sync with his other monsters for the cleave team. Uh, if you take a look back at the galleon, there's the galleon at one or 218, sorry. And then you have Alicia slower than the galleon. Makes sense, right? Okay, moving on to Varad. Again, mainly like a TOA hard monster along with... Um, you know, a little bit of RTA, a lot of RTA actually. <laughs> and then he is on Revenge with Shield. What the heck? So this is this is an interesting build, but it's on Shield Well. With defense, crit damage, defense. So it's probably gonna do a lot of damage with uh with all of his skills, except for the first skill, but mainly like the skill three and skill two are gonna do damage based on uh, defense and with it on a high crit rate, high crit damage. That's that's a that's a damage built for Ad right there. His Teor though, again nothing crazy. The attack's really nice. The speed's decent, and you know crit rate and crit damage. Nothing crazy though. You're not like seeing huge subsets like 200%, 200% uh, crit damage, 100% crit rate and things like that. But Overall, a very nice tear. Probably uses it for dungeon running and things like that. Uh, next up, he has Bastet on a swift shield build. Obviously, speed, HP, HP with speed substats. Plus 171 speed, though. That's really nice on, on a secondary swift monster. So what I mean by secondary is it's not going to be your fastest monster in your entire rune box. Generally speaking, it's probably going to be like the second third or fourth fastest monster on the swift set so again being a plus 171 speed is really nice to have with a lot of hp a lot of defense to go along with it samath is a monster that he used in his defense to get his 28th legend uh it is plus 117 speed nice attack crit rate crit damage accuracy and resistance to have all the stats on it you you really need a lot of stats on samath and the fact that he's got the accuracy and the resistance, resistance being key for like Xeros teams that are trying to take down your Smath because that's like the main counter to Xeros other than Ganymede. The resistance is super key. Accuracy also is super key so that way he's landing his skill reset and then crit rate, crit damage, obviously. Really nice build. It's on uh, attack, crit damage, attack, 
And those are the subsets right there. It's also on Nemesis, so that way it helps against Lucians and things like that. Uh, Vertihal, nothing crazy on Vertihal though. Crit rate, crit damage, speed, basic build for Dragons B10 for the most part. Nothing, nothing too special, so we'll move on from that. Hua we have next is Swift Revenge, typically used on R5. Again, not on Violent is the, the main key there. So speed, crit damage, attack, and about 20,000. Wow, wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see this or not, but he's got the same exact plus HP as he has base HP. That's, I don't know about you guys, but that kind of freaks me out. Anyway, plus 139 speed is uh, really fast for, for Hua, for sure. Juno, plus 140. Uh, typically not your fastest despair set, but on Scat Fetus's account, I believe this is actually his fastest despair set, or one of his fastest despair sets. Uh, I think he's got the faster one on Iris that we'll see here in a little bit. But, of course, speed, HP, HP, and probably his second fastest despair set. Accuracy is nice. Resistance, you know, people say don't build Juno with resistance. I still say it's fine. I don't really care. Uh, plus 21,000 HP, which is nice. Vanessa, super fast. I'm not sure what he uses the Vanessa for. Probably for like, I, I don't even I don't even know. I can't even say what he uses the Vanessa for when he has the Samath now. So we'll just, we'll just say that he uses, yeah. He definitely doesn't use it if he doesn't have it with uh, a fully maxed rune. So... Attack, crit damage, attack. Not a bad build for Vanessa, though, for you guys that are, you know, Vanessa users and don't have some math yet. Build it damage, I would say, in this current meta because you're going to be using it on AO a lot to try to outspeed other teams. Uh, you have Rakan next on a Vampire Will build. HP, crit damage, HP, of course. Really nice speed, really nice HP. Very tanky, good, good crit, crit rate, crit damage, all that good stuff. I would say this is, uh, I mean, it's a it's a solid Rakan. So none of these monsters so far are like super mind blowing. Not like you see like 400 speed Orions or anything like that. But they're all very solid built monsters all across the board. Very solid built. Uh, Mei Hu Wang, the Fire Monkey King. Again, another solidly built monster. Violent Revenge with attack. Crit damage, HP, really how you want to build him. And uh, yeah, awesome, awesome build. The other build I would say that's viable on Mei Ho Wang is the Vampire build. Next up we have Spectra. Nope, just kidding, we don't have Spectra. Next up we have Zeras on a Fatal Will build. Plus 113 speed, really nice attack, crit rate, crit damage. And the accuracy though, guys, that is the key component on Zeras. 67% accuracy. I'm super jealous of this Zeros. Really, really nice. Uh, fatal with will, again, speed, crit damage, attack. You tend to get a lot of really good fatal sets, though, from farming giants because not a lot of people use fatal. So to have like nice fatal sets is not an uncommon thing to have if you're farming giants a lot for those faster swift runes. Next up, we have Veligible on. Uh, violent will and he's built with plus 143 speed really nice hp really nice defense really all around great monster speed hp defense and he uses this in rta a lot if he wants to go with a double condom build with like wusa and veligible together it sucks it really it really does uh freya you got to build a freya if you want to you know have any sort of stall arena defense that's pretty much like the build it's super stupid it's super dumb i don't know what else to say about freya but like it's whatever 97 percent resistance i think it's i think it's a component in the game that's a little dumb it, it almost reminds me of the uh arena meta when i look at freya but at the same time it's whatever like her rune quality is like less than what arena had to have it's so bad guys all you have to, you don't even need to max the resistance as long as you have like the resistance to close to 100 percent it's you don't need any you don't need anything else just will and resistance nothing okay uh two more r5 monsters speed defense hp colleen same thing here 
uh, price, speed, yep, D HP, HP instead. Okay, with the revenge, whatever, you guys understand. Resistance, 55%, accuracy is nice as well, and then the speed is really good. So, moving on though, Hua He, very nicely ruined. All right, plus 1845 attack. Really the main thing that you want. He probably uses this for uh, rift raids a little bit. Attack, attack, attack. And then Perna. He uses this on arena defense every now and then. Definitely on Guild Wars. And then on his uh, his RTA team every now and then. He also uses that as well. Uh, he is built on attack, crit damage, attack. With really nice speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack. Lacking a little bit on the HP side, but... Um, his motto or his explanation is that Perna is on arena defense so that way he can take out a Sierra, he can take out a uh, Tiana or whatever it might be, a wind monster. He needs to take out that monster, otherwise he's, otherwise he's useless, basically. Next up, he has Tessarian, uh, 21k HP, 110 plus speed, nice accuracy, resistance, whatever. Uh, speed, HP... HP build mostly used in like niche RTA matches. Um, that's why he's got it on Violent Revenge. I'd say Revenge is a nice build to have on it because if the monster you're trying to land a debuff on attacks you, then automatically you put the debuff back on them and you remove their passive. So makes sense, right? Koba. Uh, Jojo on Runes. Rakuni is a monster that I hate fighting against myself personally. I think he's one of the most annoying monsters in the game. But he's got it at 23k HP, plus 130 speed, decent defense, and really high resistance. That's the main thing about the Rakuni build is resistance, HP, and speed is what it's really all about. Overall, though, really nice Rakuni. Probably super annoying in RTA and probably uses it as well. Here's the Leica. Still attack, uh, crit damage attack, I'm guessing. Yep, attack, crit damage, attack, built on Vampire Blade. Even though the Leica got nerfed, he still likes to use the Leica. Next up is Helena, the Fire Unicorn. Recently got buffed as well. Scaphidus does use it in RTA quite a bit. And he, uh, he uh, typically, he, he likes the buff. He likes the buff. He thinks it's a little viable, maybe a little bit more tweaking. It could be even more viable or maybe even OP. Um... It's HP, crit damage, HP, uh, and a lot of crit rate subs. Look at this. Look at that rune. 28% crit rate. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, nice HP uh, with crit rate and crit damage. That's really what you need. So that way it synergizes with the skills. This is his Fat Lucian. Uh, the attack on it is not super intense. Uh, you sometimes see people with over plus 2,000 attack. And this is only at about plus 1,800. The crit rate and crit damage, uh, mainly the crit damage, where he makes is where he makes up for it for uh, from, and the speed is at plus thirty nine. Like for a fat Lucian, plus thirty nine speed is pretty good. <laughs> uh, obviously, you want to build it on attack, crit damage, and attack. And the main thing on this is building it with like the Konamiya. So Konamiya is all you really need with Lucian, and you could boost up your Lucian, full attack bar, Lucian everybody down, and take out at least you know like one or two of the other team's monsters with a single blow sometimes even all four of them depending on who you're fighting especially if like you're going into a speed meta and the whole arena defense is squishy i like to bring out fat lucian where he can just take down the entire team and move on to the next match uh lagmaron he doesn't use him a whole lot in like Competitive play, I would say he uses it in Guild Wars, though, occasionally. Attack, crit damage, attack with Swift, Blade, really nice crit rate, really crit damage, accuracy, attack, speed, all the subsets that you want on a Lagmaron. Leo, he has on a HP build, uh, attack, crit damage, HP, but mainly super tanky. The attack is just there to help scale on his passive when he does crit. Uh, next up is Tiana. Again, so remember we were talking about how the Bastet is his like third or fourth fastest monster. So Tiana is probably his fastest Swift World monster at plus 182 with the um, the slow base speed. That's a faster set than what he has on his Wusa for sure. Uh, you have speed, 
crit rate, attack. Because even though Tiana is a support monster, she could still do some major damage with her second skill. So she did get a buff, uh, I think, two, two, pa two patches ago. Yeah. Uh, Immensity, typically used in Guild Wars. Nothing too special here, just to build up your uh, copper or whatever. Akamamir, mainly just for uh, world boss scores, I'm guessing. Attack, crit damage, attack. So even though he's like like the depth of the runes is is where you're where you want to look. Uh, Sierra, plus 100 speed, plus 2,000 HP. It's a little bit. A uh, little bit light on the HP. I know he has another one that he actually uses in RTA that he probably just has in storage for right now. Uh, accuracy is really nice though. And that's on violent accuracy. Attack, attack, attack. Just to nuke out people. That's really all it's for, obviously. Teshar is next. Really nice crit rate, really nice crit damage, really nice attack. Um, those stats are a little bit easier to get on Teshar because he awakens into crit rate. And then also has a really high base attack at 1098. Um, it is on a Rage Blade build with attack, crit damage, and attack. Really doesn't need to be too tanky at all. His HP is 7000, so it's super hard to make a tanky Teshar anyway. Um, so you don't really need to worry about tank on a Teshar. And then next up, you have Jamire, typically used with the Amesity and the Copper. Overall, though, unruined for Scat Vetus. Next up, we have Ganymede. We have two different types of builds. This is the main build that he uses for RTA. This is the main build that he uses for Arena Offense. And so this is a this is more crit rate and crit damage build, right? This is attack build. So speed, crit damage, attack. Because anytime you're going on arena offense, you don't want to have like a monster that's not doing any damage and like hitting people with a wet noodle. You want to have people that are at least putting some damage on. So this Ganymede is definitely doing damage, I guarantee you. Uh, the second one that you're looking at here, I'll show you guys stats on that real quick again. The second one though is the RTA build, the one for more sustain. Uh, it's built on speed, HP, HP. So a lot of people build speed, HP, defense. He's got the defense subsets at plus 92, uh, 592 defense. And uh, overall, though, really tanky, even with speed, HP, HP. Next up is Fang Yan, uh, 24,000 HP, 1,000 defense, crit rate, crit damage, 86 speed, uh, violent will, really nice in Guild Wars, really nice in um, RTA for bruisering at least. And then we got all of his light and dark monsters, and that'll be it. So, first off, we have Huadam, used primarily in Guild Wars for Scat and uh, TOA Hard. Uh, not, not TOA Hard, but like the um, HOH, that's what I meant. Uh, HP, 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 all on Despair, right? Pretty easy. Uh, Dover, built with the Sierra, of course, on Attack, Attack, Attack. He doesn't run Will on his Dover or Sierra because the goal is to outspeed them anyway. So to have them on uh, on Will, it's kind of a waste of runes and you can use that on somebody else. But if you're not planning on going first, if you don't have enough speed on your monsters to go first, then I would say <laughs> make sure you're building Will, otherwise you're gonna get screwed over a lot. Next up is his Nigong. He uses this in, um, in defense quite a bit. He's not like super happy about his Nigong or anything, but uh, HP, 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 Violent Nemesis, uh, plus 84, resistance is super good. HP is really good. Defense is also really good. And this thing is a pain in the butt to kill, 100%. Next up is the Gemini. He uses this on Arena Offense a lot. He goes with Smath, Frigate, Gemini and like Xeros or Alicia or one of those two and it works really well to a lot of arena defenses because he just outspeeds and, and takes care of things done boom uh, obviously you want it on despair for that RNG stun HP accuracy overall really nice plus 144 speed then you have the Amarna typically used on R5 again you want your uh, cleansers to be runed on violent so here we go speed HP HP with nice resistance at least that amount of resistance is fine because you're always going to be running like a resistance lead in r5 so that makes sense no wasted stats on that 
And then we get to the fun monsters here, I would say. So we have Zeros, uh, Zeroth, the Light Dragon, 35k HP. Actually, that's over 50k, 51k HP total for everything together. Really a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit rate. But I remember when he pulled this, he had a hard time ruining it because he never kept runes with HP and like crit damage because it was just like a, a weird build. So like he doesn't really fight for runes against anybody else because that's you don't really have this build on anybody but Zeroth. Makes sense? Okay. So Jaeger though, or Jaeger, whatever you want to say, Jaegermeister, uh, pretty much an HP build with crit rate and crit damage and some you know decent defense as well. HP, crit damage, HP, and those are the substats on those runes. Really nice resistance on it though, uh, even though he's immune to immunity right here, uh, inability effects, he still has resistance because you know defense breaks and stuff like that. He's still that that's like his downfall. Same thing with the Fire Monkey King, really. Uh, next off, we have Iris, and so yeah, here's his fastest despair set. Like I said, so he's got the uh, speed, HP, HP, obviously plus one fifty seven. It's not like super slow, but if you guys remember when I looked at uh, Tiger's account, his despair set was at plus 175 it was it's ridiculous okay it's ridiculous so this is a legendary player this is what a legendary player's runes looks like these are the kind of swift will sets that he has these are the kind of despair sets i hope you guys are kind of like paying attention to that kind of stuff compared to what tiger's account was it's night and day it really is night and day all right moving on Tableau, Rip, Tableau, still still has him ruined. Violent Will, Speed, HP, HP. Uh, don't really know where he uses the this this one at, but he's got it anyway. McCarroll. Anyway. Uh, Violent Will, Speed, Defense, Defense. He has Julianne, which is typically a good monster to use in RTA as well. Pretty much has all the RTA... Uh, fun stuff not a whole lot of the main like arena defense ld nat 5s though other than i would say probably nigong hwadam's not really used that much though in g3 arena uh for rush hour at least we have speed crit damage attack uh really nice speed on violence and then uh he doesn't really need to have a whole lot of hp because he's still super tanky because he gains hp from the other monsters yeah you guys get it crit rate and crit damage as well grego uh typically used in his necro team if you guys want to take a look at this attack crit damage attack you don't need to have any speed on your necro monsters which is why he doesn't plus 14 speed there you go uh diaz also an R5 monster, not on Violent because he's not a cleansing monster. Built on HP, HP, defense with uh, revenge. So that way he can make sure that he's putting on the heal block all the time as much as possible. Next up we have Kraka. Uh, over 40,000 HP along with really nice defense and speed. That's how you want to build your Kraka. This thing is super annoying. He used to have it on Violent, but now he's put it on Despair, which I think is a good choice for him. It is HP, 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 obviously, with Despair, Revenge. So that's, I think, a much better way to, to ruin it than going with a uh, violent build on Kraka, in my opinion. Next up is Omduat. Again, over or just about 40,000 HP plus 98 speed. You don't want it to be too fast where it's outspeeding your cleanser, but you don't want it to be too slow where it's not even getting to go and cut in between other monsters that are on your uh, arena defense that are fighting you, okay? And this is Despair Shield, HP, HP, HP. Really nice stuff, that's like 34% HP on that one, that's crazy. Uh, moving on to Sylvia though, plus 144 speed with really nice HP and defense as well. Now, she's on a violent shield build with speed, HP, and HP. 
typically built on Will, you would say, but I don't think he's really worried about having Will on Sylvia because he uses her in RTA and typically uses her with Wusa as well. So she's gonna have she's gonna have the immunity on her. So he's not really too worried about that. Uh, next up is Vivichelle, also a really great RTA monster with the third skill doing what it does, basically switches your attack gauge and your um, HP gauge and whatever the two are, it flip-flops it. I think it's a cool, unique skill that no other monster in the game has, which is awesome on an LD monster like this. Uh, speed, HP, HP, really nice speed, really nice resistance and uh, defense HP, but just, just a tank is really what you want it to be. All right, next up is the Frigate. So this is his fastest Swift runes, okay? Fastest Swift runes, put on Frigate, 308 speed. Now, you guys remember the other accounts that I was talking about, it showed like a Frigate on Will at like plus 220, something crazy, you know? And so this is his fastest Swift set, this is it. Swift and it's broken set. So uh, speed, attack, accuracy. That's it. That's the fastest set. Fastest set he's got. Plus 200 speed. Okay. Obviously, it's really fast, but if you go back and look at like the, the main speedsters on his team, he's got the Tiana. Doesn't have the same subsets as his frigate. He can't even make his frigate any faster, right? You have the Wusa as well. 21, so yeah, 25 speed is the fastest slot one that he has, 25 will, and then this is 25 as well on uh, on Swift. So that's, that's really it though, that's all it is. So pretty much every single monster he has really well ruined. There's only a handful of monsters in there that didn't have runes at all. And I guarantee he's got some runes, he's just probably switching them around that he wants to put on those monsters. But overall, again, like I said, nothing is like super intense. It's not like jumping out at you and saying, this is like the reason why this person has 28 legends. There's no light panda. He used to, he got 27 legends before getting Samath. So you can't really say it's Samath, but getting Samath definitely makes it easier for him. So what, what, what else is the reasoning? He's got a lot of options to use, of course, but it's not like there's other players out there that don't have the same options in global server at like the top ranks that rush on a consistent basis that for whatever reason, aren't getting legend the same way he is. So uh, I think that says a lot about Scat Fetus. If you guys like this video though, definitely go ahead and hit the like button to let me know that you guys like these types of videos. Also subscribe so that way you don't miss the next account review. It helps me out. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay soupy, don't be potatoes, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.